It's the number one killer of women, and soon researchers may have yet another tool to find out just who is at risk of having a heart attack. As medical reporter Liz Bona shows us, a research team at UC Medical Center is the first in the country to begin using space-age technology in a whole new down-to-earth way. It is called an Alter-G, or anti-gravity treadmill. It was developed by NASA for space training. But for this team in this exercise lab? This offers uh, an important possible innov innovation to improve what we do. Here's how it works. The Alter-G simply requires some basic user information, such as age and weight, to be put into the computer. Then, as this demonstration shows, you simply step into a pressurized, airtight enclosure. Once it is zipped around you, it suspends the body over the surface of the treadmill, so it feels kind of like you're walking on air without the pull of gravity. This technology has been around and in use mainly to take pressure off of joints in rehab. Now, however, they're using it for a whole new purpose to find out more about heart disease. Dr. Patrick Daly is the lead researcher in a first-of-its-kind clinical trial with the Alter-G. He is using it to assist in a stress test. We're usually looking for about 6 to 12 minutes or so of exercise, and you know, we're finding that the patients are able to do that. That kind of a test stresses the heart rate up with exercise to measure heart attack risk. Most of the time in those patients, you have to use medication to get heart rate up to measure risk. But in the Alter-G, you can just inflate the enclosure a bit more, give the body a little more resistance, and get the heart rate up, which may be a better option. Because it actually is able to get patients who are unable to get to target otherwise, get to target on here and not, not needing the medication for their stress test. Well, since exercise is considered the more precise way to measure heart risk, this could give us one more tool that the team says is going to save lives. The trial enrolling patients who can take a standard stress test right now. We have more information if you'd like more information on it. It's at local12.com.